I'm Dan Laurie. I'm the creator and founder of the Dan Laurie International Sculpture Collection. The idea of the sculpture collection at the RBG is to combine uh, nature with art and to engage the imagination of residents and visitors to the region and to enhance the cultural vibrancy of the community. Our latest installation will be School of Fish, this wonderful tacky piece. The reflecting pool is a great spot for it. And having a, an Inuit sculpture, I think, speaks to the diversity of the collection. It also speaks to the diversity of our, our country. Working with Dorset Fine Arts uh, was a great experience, and they presented me with uh, many amazing Inuit pieces. I'm William Huffman, and we're at Dorset Fine Arts. This is the Toronto office of the West Baffin Eskimo Cooperative. The cooperative was developed to assist artists with uh, time, space, and resources in order to make art. Um, we're, in fact, responsible for seeding art production in Cape Dorset. We work with a range of artists. Uh, Kaki is uh, one of our mid-career artists, and he has an interesting range of subject matter. I mean, he's very known for his take on the natural world uh, in Cape Dorset, so his animals and uh, wildlife. Well, we seek to place Inuit work in, in various collections around the world. I mean, to have it in the RBG, I mean, is, is tremendous for us. We're very used to sculptures, prints, and drawings, and the sculptures tend to be things that are objects that we can place in exhibitions in museums. This is tremendous to have an outdoor installation, also a very large scale, and the fact that it's sitting on a pool of water references the fact that it is School of Fish, the title of the work. And I think, again, to, to translate the work out of stone into bronze is really an interesting uh, leap, and the artist is certainly very excited about the, the new approach that we're taking to presenting the work. 